you know, this class that we have, this modified Harley class, especially when you get into um, doing the baggers, it just begs for excess. There's so much to work with and so much you can do. It really takes some restraint and discipline to put off a nice bike that is really clean and kind of maintains some custom lines. Well, I got to tell you that um, Radical Baggers and Huck figured out how to do it. So our winner for the Modified Harley class is Huck with his 107 Road Glide. Good job, man. Remember, he also gets a race tutor besides his nice suitcase. There's one happy man. Huck's bike had paint by uh, Rick Bates and Bob Sorica. Um, dual stacked intake, um, just a really clean bike, uh, looked really nice. The stretch bags, of course, open belt, pretty much the standard stuff, but real nice total execution that got him first place. And you can't ask for more than that than to be recognized by your peers. Um, and in the end, Huck had taken that cleanly. This is Bob Cave from the Ultimate Builder Custom Bike Show. I have with me today Huck, which is our winner of the Modified Harley class. Came out with a really clean design, kind of walked away with the competition. Um, Huck is accompanied by his wife, Kathy. It's kind of a partnership in this world of custom bike building. So uh, tell me, Huck, what were you, what's your inspiration? How did you keep a discipline to not just keep adding parts onto this road glide? Well, um, our philosophy is uh, we like it, uh, to be everything to be real clean. Uh, we don't like anything that has a cover. If uh, we can't buy it, we try to make it or have one of our friends make it for us that it can do it that we can't do. So we, we, don't, we just like a clean look. And uh, the concept of this bike was just to, to be like a low pro street bike. Well, you really accomplished that. You know, besides the custom bikes and the looks and having everybody get excited here, part of what we're trying to do is kind of give back to the industry a little bit and help you as a builder being able to promote your business. Um, so was there any value to being involved in a show that has this type of attendance for you as a business owner? Oh, yes, definitely. We uh, talked about this on Friday. When we come to an event, our goal is to pass out 5,000 business cards and we usually pass out about 2,500. Uh, Friday and yesterday we passed out 3,000 cards. We sold four or five items, pretty high dollar items. Last night after partying we got home, I checked the e-company email, 10, 10, 10 emails from cards I passed out here and uh, people requesting quotes on stuff. So this show you got 30, 40,000 people coming in the door, you know, and what, a, what an easier way to get a new customer or, or even a, a client you had prior to that wants to do something else. Well, we, we put a big effort into this and we hope it was recognized. Um, and we hope to get, get to see you in Daytona, but you think you're going to be back again next year? Oh yeah, definitely. We're, uh, we're building the frame so we won't, we're being the freestyle class, I'm sure, because it's a fully modified uh, road glide that we're building. and. Uh, so we're, we're on the frame right now and it uh, probably won't be done till fall, but uh, it's going to be, uh, it'll be a better radical bagger than what we've got out there right now. Well, we really appreciate your hours of dedication and coming to share that fine creation with everybody. Thanks for coming, Huck. Really appreciate you. Thanks, Bob. Uh, if it wasn't for Kathy putting up with me, I wouldn't be here because uh, this particular bike, we did it in nine weeks, and if it would have took ten, I'd have probably been living in the truck. <laughs> Good job, man. Thanks. <laughs> Stay by the day. <laughs>